Todd Usher here with Addison Homes, and today we're going to talk about closed crawl spaces. I'm here on one of our job sites in the hot, humid summer days of South Carolina weather, and that's exactly why we've learned over the years that there's a right way to do a crawl space foundation and a wrong way. And the wrong way is the way we've done it for years, is to vent a crawl space, to install vents around the perimeter of the crawl space foundation, and to allow air from outside to come into the crawl space in order to dry the crawl space. Modern building science and uh, the basic study of psychrometrics, which is the way air moisture mixtures behave, uh, shows us that a vented crawl space does not work. And in fact, what happens when we bring warm, humid air in from outside, the air cools down in the crawl space, which increases the relative humidity of the air and causes a lot of bad things to happen in the crawl space, in particular condensation on cooler surfaces that hit dew point which we often have in our crawl spaces in the South, um, in the form primarily of heating and cooling ductwork that's relatively poorly insulated and often hits dew point surface in our vented crawl spaces. So the alternative to a vented crawl space, what we think is the right way to construct a crawl space foundation, is what we call a closed crawl space or a conditioned crawl space. In our closed crawl spaces, we're not gonna, gonna insulate the floor of the house. We're actually gonna insulate the walls of the crawl space, much like a mini basement. So we're insulating the walls. That also gives us the, the benefit in climate zone three and in most warm climates, the benefit of the ground temperature beneath the house, helping us offset cooling load in the summer and slightly offset some extreme heating loads when we have them in the winter. 